every time I sit down to film, the someone has to be vacuuming my house. Just great. What's up, it's me Brianna and I am back again with another video. I know it feels like I've been gone for ages. Whenever I'm gone for one week, it feels like I like miss you guys. Like honestly, I do miss you guys and I feel like we always reconnect when I come back on and make a video. That made any sense at all. I don't even know where I was going with that sentence. I just kind of trailed off after I said I miss you guys. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start this. Anyways, um I'm back. Sorry for being gone for a week. Okay, I'm gonna get this straight about my video schedule before I even start this new video because I want to let you guys know that school has been really stressful these past couple weeks with the test and just getting back into the swing of school. Like I'm still on summer mode basically and it's really hard to wake up and get ready and push myself today. Um I still like try in school and my grades are falling because I'm trying to put YouTube above school and not do my homework so I've kind of decided that one video a week is basically what I can do because really I can only film on weekends because during the week I have homework practically every night in math class and if Oh, I got the hiccups. And even in some other classes, I have homework. So I just want to get that straight about the video schedule because I like to put a lot of time and effort into my videos. And the only time I really have a lot of time is on the weekends. And some weekends I'm busy, but this weekend I'm not that busy. So I'm filming a Q&A video for you guys. But yeah, I just wanted to get that straight. Um, at the most, you'll probably see two videos a week. But like when it's break time, like Thanksgiving break, I'm going to pre-film a ton of videos for you guys because I will have all the time in the world as well as Christmas break too. But anyways, with that being said, I'm going to do a Q&A. Q&A video. Um, this is going to be in my November Q&A. I haven't done one of these in quite a long time. I think my last one was in September. So you guys seem to really like these. I might split this up into two parts because there is a lot of questions and a lot of you guys get mad when I don't feature you all. But the thing about my Q&As is I go to Instagram first, um, which is where I post the main picture, and I scroll to the very first question, like the very first comment, and I just go from there. But I don't want you guys watching like a 20 minute video. So if you guys want this into two parts, if you didn't get featured when I start this, just let me know. But yeah, I'm going to start with Instagram first and then Twitter so let's get started okay so the first question from Instagram is from underscore dot I G A F dot underscore nine um, she says if you could choose between makeup or five sauce what would you choose um uh, well what kind of really question is that like makeup and five sauce if that's like asking me to choose between pizza and cupcakes like I mean, I mean, five sauce. Just. Okay, next question is from A. It's Lindsay. She says, what's your favorite thing about fall? P.S. I love you. I love you too, Lindsay. Um, my favorite thing about fall would probably have to be, honestly, the cold weather and just getting to bundle up in sweaters and be a burrito for like two months because that is me literally every day. Next question is from Brian Ad... Uh, let's, okay, I'm sorry. I cannot pronounce. Okay, Brianna. I think it's Brianna Della Torre. Okay, I got it. Brianna Della Torre. She says, what is your favorite trend for fall? My favorite trend for fall would probably have to be combat boots. Um, yeah. Combat boots and tights or layers or leather jackets and jackets and flannels and just layering is probably my favorite trend. Um, this next question comes from Nadie. And, okay, I'm just going to say, like, because it's, like, a bunch of random letters. It's N-A-D-E-G-E-B-P. She says, what is your favorite fall candle? Um, it's over there. Actually, it's the pumpkin cupcake scent from Bath & Body Works. Um, and then the next question is from Beth underscore Gray. She says, are you going to be doing a November favorites video? Well, I mean, do you guys want a November favorites video? If you want one, like this video or comment down below or whatever floats your boat. Uh, I'll probably do one, uh, but, I mean, yeah, I might do one if you guys want one. That's all up to you guys, whatever you want to be on my channel, I guess. question is from Brooke.Lynn. She says, do you watch Supernatural? If you don't, you should because it's an amazing show. I love you. I love you too. No, I actually don't watch Supernatural. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about it and I've like, I don't really like sci-fi, like sci-fi shows, which I feel like Supernatural hence the name would be about like sci-fi uh, type of science fiction. Uh, I'm not really into that type of stuff. I'm more into like things like American Horror Story, uh, an American Horror Story. <laughs> um, next question is from Alicia.Lynn. She says, what is one makeup product you can't live without? Um, one makeup product I can't live without would probably have to be... Ooh, concealer because I can live without mascara like my eyelashes are pretty naturally long um, My eyebrows, I don't have to fill them in but I like to so I would have to say concealer because when I get zits That ain't cute girl like that is not cute. Okay, next question is from Abby Carney, she says, what are your favorite hair products? My favorite hair product is actually, everything's over there, but I'm not, I'm sorry I'm for not getting it, but I like the L'Oreal Volume Mousse. That is probably my favorite hair product because I have thick hair, but like, it's like, 
it's like very like before I started using mousse because I used to not use mousse it was like very I don't really know the word to describe this like it wasn't thin because I have naturally thick hair but the, it just didn't have any volume basically so that's probably my favorite the L'Oreal volume booster mousse stuff yeah. Next question is from Sydney McMahon13. She says, can you sing? Sing to us. Yes, I can sing. Um, um, I'll sing to you guys, I guess. Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm kind of self-conscious about this. I've sung on Tiny Chat before, but this is for like all my subscribers. Uh, so awesome. Remember the day you told me you were leaving? I remember the makeup running down your face And the dreams you left behind, you didn't need them Like every single wish we ever made I wish that I could wake up with amnesia And forget about the stupid little things like the way it felt to fall asleep next to you And the memories I never can escape Cause I'm not fine at all hey, Yeah, that was Amnesia if you didn't know. Also, I can play guitar. I sing and play guitar. So yeah, uh, I was kind of nervous. I've never really done on camera before. So sorry if I was bad. Okay, now that's out of the way. Next question is from Rita.in. She says, do you have a boyfriend? Nope. I'm just gonna be straightforward with you guys. I am single as a Pringle. As Michael Clifford says, would say, um, because it means hungry, that's why. Just kidding, um. But yeah, I'm single as a Pringle. Uh, single. I'm, I'm, I don't have a boyfriend. I'm... Okay, next question is from Brittany Griff. She says, without YouTube, do you think your life would be different? Yes, because honestly, without YouTube, like, when I don't make a video for, like, a week, I feel deprived of, like, everything. Like, I feel deprived of the world. I feel like I'm missing out on so much. Like, when I don't make a video, it is just... It is like I feel like different like I feel like like I'm like a part of my heart is like missing like if a day goes by or I'm either sick or I like don't have time to make a video it just like breaks my heart because I like making videos and it's something I like to do so without YouTube yes my life would be different I mean at least for me I don't know about the people or so much as the people around me I would yeah I'd have some of my friends and stuff if I didn't have to do YouTube but like as for like me personally it would be different for me because I wouldn't have this you know YouTube and you guys because I freaking love you guys so yeah if that answers your question, yes. Next question is from Olivia Andrews. She says, what do you usually do for Thanksgiving? For Thanksgiving, I usually, well, last year, my brother from Alabama came up. Um, most of the time, we usually go down to Alabama, but it's really expensive to travel down, like, drive down to Alabama. So, this year, we're going to stay in, um, but most of the time, we would just go. But if we're not going down to Alabama, we stay in the house, and I just spend time with family, and we eat, and then we also go Black Friday shopping uh, yeah. This question is from Courtney XCX Makeup. She says, "What is your favorite restaurant? Love you, girl. I love you too, Courtney. At uh, my favorite restaurant, oh, okay. I'm gonna be completely honest. Okay, it used to be Olive Garden, but um, my parents got me into eating like about a year ago or two years ago, Noodles and Company, and that is my holy grail restaurant. Like, I love noodles." And noodles and company, like I always want to go there. Like I'm kind of burnt out on it because I waited these past like three weeks. But honestly, I just that's probably my favorite. Next to all is from Cameron and she, uh, Cameron and underscore. She says, if you had to pick any makeup product that you own, which would be your favorite one? I think I answered this. Uh, that'd probably be concealer. Um, and the next question is from Izzy underscore is underscore seven. She says, would you rather have makeup or your phone? Uh, ooh, that's a that's a that's a tricky question. Okay, honestly, probably my phone because YouTube, like yeah, and Twitter, yeah, and five six of the summer, like I keep up with them on social media. Like if I didn't have social media, like my phone, how would I know? Like. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this, um, but basically, yeah, I would probably just, I, I mean, yeah, my phone. I'm making this really, like, skeptical and awkward. Okay, okay, I'm gonna move on. Okay, next question is from Cami underscore shorts 10. She says, what's your favorite book? P.S. I love you. I love you too, Cami. Um, my favorite book, um, I'm gonna be, I wouldn't say this is stereotypical, but ever since I read it in 2012, The Fault and Our Freaking Stars, my favorite book, um, The Fault in Our Stars, I am in love with that book. 
it changed my outlook on everything. I love the characters. I love Hazel. I love Augustus. I love who plays. I love Shailene and Ansel who play the characters in the movie. And I just love John Green. He is amazing. I'm sorry. Like I, I fangirl over this book. Like in this movie. And John Green himself because he's a legend. Like I've read all of the John Green books there is in existence, and he is amazing. But The Faulkner Stars is my favorite book of all time. Yes, I like the Hunger Games series. Um, but next to the Hunger Games, like. It probably had to be the Faulkner Stars in the Hunger Games series, but the Faulkner Stars does. question is from Jordan Howell. She says, if you were in a movie theater with every guy you ever had a crush on and on and every Snapchat you sent began playing, what would you do? So if every guy I ever had a crush on was sitting in a movie theater and every Snapchat that I ever sent to everyone was playing on the screen. Wow, I would probably run out and like poop my pants. Like, okay, like honestly, it would be so embarrassing. Well, I mean... I haven't really had a crush on a lot of guys. If you count like celebrity crushes, then shoot, like, <laughs> girl. But yeah, I'd probably probably be really embarrassed um, because I sent some pretty fugly Snapchat. Next question is from I'm dot Natalie dot HBU. She says, "What grade was your favorite? Probably seventh grade because I had a, a buttload of friends in seventh grade and." All my 8th grade friends from 7th grade went to high school and now I'm lonely, so probably 7th grade. That was one of my favorite years, besides all the drama, or the boy drama, um, but friend-wise, 7th grade. Yes, they suck. Um, I mean, I do good in social studies and, and in um, science and in my elective classes, except Spanish. I don't really do good at that, uh, but in math and Spanish is like my hardships. So. This question is from underscore Lena12. She says, what are your fave videos to film? Um... My favorite videos to film would probably have to be, even though I've only done a few, they probably have to be lookbook videos or makeup tutorials. Either or. Like, lookbooks is next to makeup tutorials. So, either of those two. The question is from basically AC. She says, would you rather meet Five Sauce or be able to hang out with Macon for a whole day? Um, is that even a question? Five seconds of summer. Like, are you kidding me? Okay, next question is from underscore Anjali underscore Lariri underscore. She says, who is your bae? And if you don't have one, then can I be your bae? I don't have one, so yes, you can be my bae. Next question is from xo.riannanicolexo. She says, what is your favorite drink from Starbucks? P.S. I love your videos. Well, thanks for watching my videos and saying you love them. Um, my favorite drink from Starbucks is when it is in season, it's the pumpkin spice latte. Um, and then when that's not in season, it would be the strawberries and cream frappuccino. Next question is from rim underscore... N A C N A K no rem underscore N A K H L I. She says, "How do you deal with hate in school?" Honestly, it's not so much hate. I don't really get hate at school. I more so get like, "Ooh, it's Brianna." Like someone will see me walking down the hall, and it's mostly boys that do this. Um, girls are pretty genuine about it, and they're like, "Oh, I, I see you on YouTube," and it's mostly positive stuff. But then those stubborn, immature boys would be like, "Ooh, it's Brianna X, BDX. Guys, she has like twenty three thousand subscribers. She's famous." Which I mean, I don't consider myself famous, so I mean, it kind of bugs me, but. But it's not technically hate, so it's not something you have to deal with, but yeah. Next question is from Eric Ericus. Oh, I know you. Ericus23. She says, Do you ever accidentally write your YouTube name on your school papers? Uh that's a good question, but no, I don't. Um, I feel like I could, but no. I Next question is from Grace Dat Smith. She says, favorite show to watch on TV slash Netflix. Um, American Horror Story. I started watching American Horror Story on Netflix. I watched seasons one and two, and then I kind of watched season three on the internet, and now it's Freak Show, and I'm caught up for season four, and I'm in love with American Horror Story. I, Evan Peters, wow, dang, I, I love that show a lot. Like, it's next to, like, probably, okay, I really like Pretty Little Liars and The Fosters, but, like, American Horror Story has topped like all of those and I'm going to be honest like ever since I started watching it like a month ago it has changed my life. Next question is from Tyler dot is dot Tyler dot is dot the best dot <laughs> um she says if you could only have one makeup product what would it be? Concealer. Next question is from Caitlin underscore Jean. She says do you like school? No, I honestly don't. Um no, and if you're like younger and you're asking me this and you like school because you're younger, that it just get worse. It gets worse. Like school as you get older gets harder and you start to hate it more. You have to wake up early each year. Like I'm gonna start be starting high school next year and I'm like scared because like homegirl does not ain't waking up at no 5:30 to be ready by 6:30. Like huh? next question is from I'm trying to answer questions that I haven't already answered. So if a lot of people ask the same questions, sorry because I don't really want to answer like all those. Um. 
Next question is from Ellis.Hannah. She says, what are you most excited about for Christmas? So, okay, for Christmas, I'm going down. And if you guys want me to vlog this, let me know. But for Christmas, I'm going down to Gatlinburg with my whole entire family from Alabama. If you guys didn't know this, my whole family, besides, you know, my uh, immediate family, like my mom, dad, and brother, um, the rest of my family is all from Alabama. And my mom and dad are from Alabama. I was born in Alabama. My brother was born in Alabama. But we just had to move down to Ohio for my dad's job. So, like, my aunts, uncles, cousins, grandma, grandpa, great-grandma, great-grandpa, um, um, all those people are from Alabama so um, my grandma aunts and my cousins were all going down to and my nieces and nephews were all going down to um a Christmas cabin like I get to miss like three days of school I think before Christmas break and that's gonna, probably my most exciting thing for Christmas and just spending time with family and um, next question is from Shauna Lee CO she says uh, underscore 719 she says any exciting upcoming videos yes I after this video um which like I said I have a lot of school stuff going on so it's hard for me to get this up but I'm almost done I'm just waiting for some stuff to come in the mail so I can use it in my lookbook video that I'm filming it's gonna be a fall lookbook because it's still fall it's not winter yet uh it's gonna be a fall-ish lookbook um I have some stuff coming in the mail like jeans and clothes and stuff that I ordered that I'm waiting to come in so I can use it for that video but yeah that is what I'm most excited next question is from underscore Andrea underscore she says do you like hot Cheetos yes I love hot Cheetos especially when I am on my period I be like stuff in them hot Cheetos now. I like love anything hot and salty like when I'm on my period like that it's just me and sweet sweet sometimes and then hot and spicy I mean I just go I'm all the way around the clock I love everything next question is from Brittany dot legget Legend. Yeah. Um, she says, will you ever do any meetups? Oh my god, I want to do one so bad, but it's just like, I have to talk to my mom, even though, like, you know, I'm old now, and I, I'm not old, I'm, I mean, I'm almost 14, I turned 14 in January, but like, I really want to do a meetup, like, I just have to okay with my parents, you know, and just, because they have to drive, they have to be my transportation, and I have to know where I want to have it, and my mom's like, oh, I don't want any creepy, creepy stalkers coming to your meet, but I really want to do one. I just have to kind of get it all worked out with my parents, so I'll let you guys know. Next question is from Lena dot dot Galvez. She says, "What's your favorite outfit?" Um, my favorite outfit is probably really basic, um, black skinny jeans with um, my tank top from Munif and a flannel and black converse that, I mean, represents who I am, to be honest. Um, next question is from Tori126 underscore. She says, what stores do you shop at? Um, I shop at Hot Topic a good amount um, and Forever 21 because they have really cool stuff. I don't really shop at Victoria's Secret Pink anymore. I only go there for, like, underwear and bras um, and yoga leggings. But other than that, I shop at Hot Topic for a lot of my graphic shirts. Um, Forever 21 and Paxson. I really do some good shopping in Paxson. So next yeah. question is from Ab Abby Voghan. She's 1400. She says, are you excited for high school? Yes, I'm excited for high school to be reunited with all my friends that were in eighth grade last year that transferred to high school this year because ah, like I miss them so much and if any of them are watching this, I love you because I miss y'all like crazy and I cannot wait to be in high school away from the junior high hole. Like, yes. Question is from Riley Beggs. She says, favorite five sauce song. Um, whew. That is really hard. Um, my favorite five sauce song. Well, when I started listening to them back in 2012, they had like their somewhere new EP. Like I found them on like YouTube, and I f saw that like Louis tweeted them or whatever. And I saw like um, Gotta Get Out, and I fell in love with it. And then I listened to Out of My Limit, and I just. I mean, it was hard to choose between two. Okay, it's, it's either, uh, for like old one, it's Gotta Get Out, or Out of My Limit, but I and Heartbreak Girl, like, oh, it's so hard, but like, Heartbreak Girl, when it came, uh, it's just, I mean, but I mean, I've always had something in my heart, forgot to get out. Um, but as for like on their recent new album and some of their new EPs, um, probably, um, I'm really contemplating between Amnesia and Long Way Home, like, like, it's hard. Um, I can't pick between Amnesia and Long Way Home, so I'm just gonna say Amnesia and Long Way Home. Dot Farhat. She says, Faye Five Sauce Ship. Oh my god, this is really hard to choose bet between Muke and Cake. Like, okay, back in the day, I don't know if you ever, if any of you guys saw this, if you've been Five Sauce fans with the song, but the Dirt Ball, when they had their teams, and that's when it, that's when Cake formed, kind of, and like, um, and mashed in, and I don't know, but I mean, Muke lately has been you know, looking good, but then I've always kind of been a cake at heart, so I'd probably have this. Okay, next question is from Joe Sam 678 She says, are you going Black Friday shopping? Yes, girl, I am going Black Friday shopping, like, I'm so excited, and if you guys want to vlog, because, like, I really want to start vlogging, and it's just making me all giddy and excited, would you guys want to see a Black Friday 
shopping vlog and I'll, as well as a vlog for me going to the Christmas cabin. Please let me know and I'll post it on this channel instead of my vlog channel because I'm not really active on my vlog channel. But please let me know because I really want to do one. Next question is from Sydney X Chin. She says, who's your favorite Iowan? You, girl, like, is that even? from Bella.cat. She says, who is your inspiration? Um, Jennifer Lawrence, hands down, Jennifer Lawrence, like... She is my role model. Everything that I want to be in a person is Jennifer Lawrence. Like, ever since when I was in sixth grade, she has, or no, fifth grade, fifth grade, it was fifth grade, she has been my everything. Like, Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, Next question is from Caitlin J507. She says, Who's your favorite Ninja Turtle? Leonardo is my favorite Ninja Turtle. If you don't know, that's the one with. I don't know if you can see on here, but the one with the blue mask. Yeah, favorite Ninja Turtle represent today. But, um, okay, yeah. so that is all of the time that I have for all the questions. This video has been like 18 minutes long, and the thing, I don't want to make it so long because it's really hard to edit. I didn't get to the Twitter questions, but what I'm going to do is just reply to them. Um, and if you guys want to see a part two of the rest of the Instagram questions, let me know and I'll do one. But, yeah, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. And peace out, and I hope you guys have an amazing weekend, and I love you.